Well, it's definitely been the strangest nine months that I've ever gone through in my coaching career, but uh, one of the most rewarding because the opportunities we've had to grow with our team aren't traditional, but I think they may be better than, than we've ever done. So I am excited to get out on the field and, and, and see what that looks like. It's a work in progress, that's for sure. But we have a lot of young people that really, really want to do it the way we're asking them to. And uh, it's a great responsibility. When, when they trust you, you, you really have to come through for them because for young people to trust people they don't know or, or just met, that's not the norm. So we're excited and we have this opportunity and go, go try to make the best of it. Now to New Jersey. To flatten the curve, this decision is not an easy one. The last nine months have been just weird. Like you've never been around anything like it. Once we got shut down, I believe it was like March 11th or something like that, and it was like right before spring break. You know, so we had a kind of week to kind of just gather some thoughts and, and, and get the guys on, on the same page about what's going to happen moving forward. The unknown college football is getting sacked. I think Coach Siano just said in the media recently that, you know, we were the WebEx team, so we, we had a ton of time where we were just meeting online and... Welcome, Coach. Hey, guys. I was in my house every day, WebExing and talking to kids on the phone, talking to our players on the phone, uh, coaches like, I just met you guys, and then now I only see you through a screen. Thanks. Appreciate you getting on. I thought that we did a great job of, Coach Yano talks about our advantage being preparation. We got our virtual meetings up off the ground really, really effectively early on, so you know, we weren't kind of like figuring out how to conduct a meeting on the web early. It's official, the Big Ten will not play football this fall season. This was going to be a day-to-day -day situation. The last nine months have definitely been, you know, crazy, you know, uh, something unheard of with a, a change of coaching staffs and all the COVID stuff going on. It's a lot of ups and downs, a lot of masks on, a lot of Rona everywhere. It's just been crazy. It's been an adjustment. I feel as though with COVID, that's something that wasn't expected, but it, it is, you know I me. Mean, don't get you off your pivot. You just gotta keep pushing, and you just continue to keep adjusting. Going through this, this rough time with COVID, definitely a big, a big challenge for everyone. But we got every day. We gotta chop and keep everyone safe. Hey, Rutgers family. It's been two days since the Big Ten season was postponed. I know how disappointed you are. We feel the same. But our players realize people have it a lot worse off than just not being able to play a football season. I'm, I'm glad Coach is here and the coaching staff that we have because the support for our guys and that transition to help has been tremendous. They finished out the semester in, in the spring with the best GPA we've ever had in Rutgers football history. They did great over the summer and it kind of got us ready for, for right now. Great week. The way to make this even better week is to finish it right now. Ever since Coach Yana came back, since the first day, we've been challenged physically, mentally. You know, it's, it's been a great, like, start of the journey, because that's how kind of I see it. We're just getting started. I was excited about having a new staff. Immediately, I saw, like, uh, more structure and, and things was changing. We will never, ever lower our expectations. Ever. Once we built the relationships with Coach Yano and Coach Frazier and the different coaching staff, I feel like we're in a good place. Once I got to know everybody, Ever since we started, like, you know, chop, we got to just chop the moment. And that's what the coaches have been preaching since day one. And even though we didn't know if there were going to be a season or not, we still have to, you know, prepare like it is. That's what we, we're doing and uh, what I'm doing. And that's pretty much the only way you can do it. You know, with everything going on, just keep chopping. I feel like we've handled it very great. I feel like it's probably because of Coach Yano, the way he put us in a place and talked to us and understand. Like I said, he knows he's human. So if he's human, he knows that we may feel a certain type of way. And he plays to it. Chop through chaos. Keep going when the whole world's breaking loose around you. So I feel like having him in our corner, understanding how we feel, has really helped us and it allows us to push through the COVID stuff. Even when we weren't sure if there's going to be a season or not, we had to, you know, chop and prepare for it. Because, like, the journey is just getting started and I'm super excited to have a bunch more years with Coach Yano, so. We are following breaking news, Big Ten football. Big Ten football. Coming back. One, two, three, chop!